Yes, exactly. Exactly. That is, I can get the reference. That is in the Quran, clearly in Surah 929. Clearly in Surah 929, it said, Five souls who do not believe in the cause of Allah and the religion of Islam and following the footsteps of Muhammad among those al Kitab, among the people of the scripture, which is Jew and Christian. Surah 929 clearly, and Muhammad gave a, a commentary on Surah 929. Clearly, Muhammad said, You Muslim, you're going to fight the Jew and the Christian, especially the Jew. You're going to fight the Jew until there will be a rock and a tree will cry out in Arabic, Come, there's the Jew behind me and kill him. And that's how hatred was Muhammad towards the Jew and Christian. And that's exactly this Muslim, the good Muslim, they follow the saying, the hadith, the commentary of Muhammad on the Quran. And earlier on, you said that you went to the police on three occasions to seek their help. Why do you believe the police? I will tell you say why. It's not my opinion, but that is the word of God. We are commanded according to the scripture to pray and to no rebel, to pray for the authority, for the Prime Minister, the Mayor of London, Charles the Soy, whatever they are, that we may have a peaceful life. We are praying for these people. But when it comes to Islam, Islam is different. So they now in our holy book we are commanded for peace. We are commanded by Jesus to follow peace with all men and holiness, with our which no man shall see the Lord. And that's in Hebrew chapter 12, verse 14, I believe. We are commanded to pursue peace with those who are for war. We are commanded to love the unlovable. We are commanded to, to bless the unblessable. But these Muslims, that's what they want. They want to have the Sharia in this country. And when they have the Sharia, there will be no speaker's corner. And my final question to you, sir, take no notice. My final question to you. Someone has been arrested. That's right. What outcome would you like to see from that arrest? Well, I'm an eyewitness. Um, my sorry, my, sorry, my sorry, friend. Sorry. Yeah. I beg your pardon. Yeah. An arrest has taken place. Yes, one, one what has been arrested. Like yeah, uh, well, actually, I would like to be honest personally. I'm now changing my view on Muslims. I'm changing my view on Islam. I, and I, I, I pray and I agree with my friend and with. Uh, Saeed, who's been abused, that this man had to go to court and he had to be fined and he had to be charged. Whatever the law says, this man has to be arrested. Because if we said, okay, love your enemy, bless them that curse you, that will not apply. That the law, the same of the mouth, love your enemies. Yes, they are our enemy. They are our brother and sister in humanity. But we have to press the charge. This man has to be arrested. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. So here, just gently, my friend, because my brother came late. Let me tell you something exactly what's going on. This is, we're not saying every Muslim the same. I'll be wrong. Not every Muslim the same, but that is the religion of Islam. Exactly, that's what these people, they sent them here. Some of them are new. They, they're leaders, they're, Im they're imam, they're scholars. They sent them here to create this kind of chaos in this country. And this is Great Britain, my friend. This is English country. This is the speaker's corner that everybody welcome. Whether you are homo, whether you are uh, Muslim, whether you are Jew, Christian, everybody welcome. But we must respect the law of this country. We must respect and value the law of the park. Otherwise, we're going to fight physically. And none of us want that. And I personally do not get involved physically, but I don't like my brother be abused like that. I don't care who they are. I'm not saying every Muslim the same, but that is Islam. And that's exactly what the good Muslim do. No bad Muslim. The bad Muslim, they want to make money. They want to have a peaceful life. But the good Muslim, that's what they do. And that is the religion of Islam. They call it the religion of peace. That is the religion of peace. Thank you very much. Yeah. Here earlier on, when you're talking to these people, and because they're making so much noise, I can't hear what you're saying. So can't you use a, a loudspeaker so everybody can hear what you're saying? Not yeah, I don't have a loudspeaker because the loudspeaker is not allowed. Only we got this one, like to make a little bit higher. I did ask the police. So but you see, brother, please. brother, I challenge every single Muslim. Give me one Christian. I guarantee you, and I defy you, and I challenge you. Give me one Christian who are bad Christian will do anything like that to Ali Dawah. I challenge you. I will leave Christianity. I guarantee you, if I see any any Christian, even bad Christian, do so to Ali Dawah, I will leave Christianity behind and I will go somewhere else.
But still, I cannot find any bad Christian to do so. Therefore, I preach the gospel. We preach the Bible. We respect this Muslim. But when the situation like that happens, then we press the charge and they must be arrested. What is their name? Is it? Do you know their names? I don't know the name. And by the way, by the way, sir, there is three new revelations in the Quran. You cannot find in the Bible, you cannot find any other book. Chapter 4. Well, that's for him, yeah? Okay, I'll give it. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. So finally, my friend, sir, before you go, there's three new revelations in the Quran, cannot be found in the Bible, even in the old, in the old covenant. Three new revelations. Chapter 4. Verse 34, that Muslim husband commanded by God to beat the wife. But Jesus Christ said, husband, love your wife. That's one, one new revelation. The second revelation in chapter 5, verse 38, those who are stealing, male and female, chop their hand, cut their hand. Chapter 5, verse 38, in the Quran. In Surah 929, clearly said, five those, especially among the Jew and the Christian, al Kitab, the Jew and the Christian, and let they pay willingly and with submission. Just here, if they do not convert, they have to pay just here. If they don't pay just here, they have to be killed. So 929. And that's exactly what the Muslim did. So, yeah. I hope. I, I get out because of that. And that's the proof, sir. That's the proof I will never go back to Islam. That is a proof I must die. If they want to kill me, they must kill me first. I'm not going to go back to Islam. But I have to say, I have to say um, that uh, there was a temple tax, and Jesus said that the children, the children don't have to pay the temple tax, only the non-children. So that's maybe a similar to the uh, this what the. Uh, and to be honest, now I remember the scripture. I, I am rejoicing. I'm really rejoicing right now, because I know that there's an angel in heaven are rejoicing right now because our brother has been persecuted, and this is the proof that we have to thank this Muslim who show us the dark side of Islam. Yes. Yeah. The dark side of Islam. And that is the proof, that's the evidence that we must rejoice and be glad. Yeah. Because that will a blessing from heaven. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you very much and thank you yeah. for your offering. I'll give it to Brother Saeed. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's, uh, yeah. it's his uh, That's his property, yeah. Well, I hope you got them on video. You know who they are next time and be aware of them. Yeah, just finally, brethren and sister in humanity, I was here about 45 minutes ago, um, but my brother didn't hear about that. Just, I'm going to step down. Yeah, I'm going to step down quickly, yeah? Uh, just, just to tell the people on the, online that what happened, about more than 45 minutes ago, our brother Said was on the ladder, and his table was kicked, and all the truck was on the floor, and Muslims just smashed it. And I personally went to the police three, four times. I told them, please, my friend is in danger. All he struck me on the floor and it didn't come until another brother came with the video of the video of the man on his, on, his, on, his, on his mobile. And then the police came and one of them is arrested. But that is not really fair to what happened to a, a, a peaceful a Christian. Yeah, he may have an Israeli flag, but we are commanded in the Bible to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We are commanded to the only city Biblically, we are commanded to pray for is the peace of Jerusalem. Yes, I know there may be something wrong in war. Always nobody, nobody will win war. But this war is not against Israel. This war is against Jesus Christ. And this war is against God. So we must be waking up and stand up with our moral standard and moral value, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. This is God does not like that. God is not happy with that. Because if we be silent and do nothing and say nothing, then they will get us. They will stop us as they did to Hatun. Myself, I've been punched twice and I pushed, I've pushed. i been pushed on my ladder back in 2017 and So they will not stop with that. That's only the beginning. Then we must stand up to be united and come together and say no to Islam and say no to the Islamization of this country and say no, yes, Muslim, they must be peaceful Muslim. Yes, I know, but if you go to India, there's a peaceful Indian, they worship flood, their God is cow and flood.
but that doesn't mean Islam is peace. No, we know Islam is not peace. I know Islam is not peace. Because if Islam is peace, then the Muslim, the follower of Islam, will not do that. So we leave you with Jesus Christ. We want to give you Christ and we want to give you the gospel. And trust me, as long as I live, there's only one God. And there's only one way to that one God. It's not Islam, it's not Judaism, it's not any other religion. It's Jesus Christ. Because he said, I am the way, the only way, and the truth. The only truth and the life, the only life. No man will see God in any time. No man in the past, no man in the present, no man in the future will see God except through me. Therefore, we believe the cross, we preach the cross, because the cross is the power of God. Therefore, we must stand up with our brothers and sisters in this place and say no to Islamization and say no to violence. Even if the Christians do that, we will go and stop them. Stop them. Because that is not the fruit of Christianity. That's not the fruit of Jesus Christ. The fruit of Christianity is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, which is self-control. If the Muslims they have self-control, will they do that? No. They have no self-control, but we have self-control because we love Jesus and we worship Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, thou wast the all Lord with the glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy presence thou was created. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to the bad and mercy has begotten us again to a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Thou wast the all Lord with the glory and honor and power, no me, solely in your glory. Yeah. Therefore, we lift you up, we preach you, we profane you, we declare you, we define you, and we defend you in this part and out of this part. This is our life, and they must kill us, but they cannot have our heart. They must kill us. They cannot have our heart. Our heart is fixed on Jesus Christ. Our heart is fixed on the cross of Calvary, which is the power of God. Our Father which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debt as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but from evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Let me tell you something. Mar Mary Emmanuel. Uh, a, 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 a bishop brother in Christ, Orthodox uh, bishop in Australia, in his own property, in his own church. He was stabbed three, four times by a Muslim. He lost one of his eyes, but he said, you are my son. He said, you are my son, and I forgive you, and I love you. You always will be my son. And these people, they are our brothers and sisters in humanity. We love them and we bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. But we will never stop standing up for our Lord Jesus Christ. We stand up and we will say no to violence, but yes to love and peace, which is Jesus Christ. Sorry, your glory, for the glory of God. No man, but for the glory of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.